Many images come to mind when we think about space weather. But did you know that the connection between the Earth and the Sun is not as far out as you might think? Just like we change seasons here on Earth, in space the Sun also goes through its own phases. It's a really complicated system. It's got this really complicated magnetic field. The Sun's uh, outer atmosphere is a million degrees and this uh, drives this really complicated and intense activity that unfolds over a cycle of 11 years. After taking a nap for a few years, the largest object in our solar system is about to get active again by 2025. A space weather event scientists need to closely monitor for impacts on technological systems. There's danger to communications on Earth that can be disrupted. GPS could be uh, a little less reliable during a, a space weather event. And power grids actually are, are vulnerable to uh, power surges that can cause blackouts. But we watch the sun 24 hours a day. Keeping track of this yellow dwarf star's activity with the same satellites that we use to watch our weather. Any little change in activity, any little uptick in the activity, an outburst like a solar flare, which is a sort of huge explosion that happens at the surface of the sun, uh, we watch and the Space Weather Prediction Center at NOAA can issue watches and warnings and alerts just like the Weather Service does to help people be prepared for uh, space weather events. These forecasts are not only important on this planet, but for our astronauts exploring other parts of the galaxy. If you're an astronaut out there in deep space, you are much more vulnerable to the effects of, a, of an outburst from the sun. And you need to have really good, reliable information in case you need to take shelter from a, you know, a big energetic solar flare. For more information about space weather and solar cycles, go to weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Meredith Garfalo.